Hi everyone, it's your guest Zara. Welcome back to another episode on how to cut and sew. Today I'll be showing you on how to cut a booboo shirt stock, as you can see on the picture. So I want to use this opportunity to thank you all for subscribing to my channel and for those who are watching for the first time, please any of this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and also make sure you on your notification bell so that whenever I upload any video, you'll be notified. So let's go back to the, today's work. So I'll be using this newspaper fabric to cut it out. As you can see, I'm using one and a half yard of this fabric to cut this particular side out. So the first thing you're going to do is to fold it into two. This is into two first, then into four. This is into four places now. So after this now, the next thing you're going to do is to take the shoulder slant. I'll be taking shoulder slants of 1.5 inches here. Shoulder slant of 1.5 inches. Then I'll be slanting it to the center of the neck. Let me make it on my ruler to make it straight. You can see the next thing you're going to do since it's caught together with the sleeve you're going to take the measurement of the wideness of the wrist where you're going to put the band so, so i'm making it of seven inches because it has it, it has a split so i'm making it of seven inches here so from here i'll be making use of 19 inches you can see that is from the from this upper part to 19 inches this is where i'm going to start the coffin to the center of the front and back so after this now the next thing i'm going to do is to cough it in a little bit just a little bit cough like this just a little bit cough then make it straight to this 19 inches you can see then from this 19 inches you have to slant it to the center so i'm starting from the center i'm going to slant it all to 19 inches you can see so i don't want it to be too sharp so you can slant it to know the actual length but if you want to cut it you have to blend it out not to not to be too sharp at this end just make it a small one like this you can see you can see the way i cough it like this so the next thing i'm going to do here is to take the the and neck the land neck here because it has a stand it does a collar so i'm making it of 2.5 inches for the wideness then the deepness i'll be using two inches then i'm going to connect the two lines together like this then after this i'll be cutting it out So you can see now I use the length now I folded 1.5 now I folded one and a half yard of this fabric into four then I cut that that's the length I then I use the length of the fabric for the sleeve length so let me take the measurements for you to see so 
so this is 20 24.5 inches that is the slip length so it will be after this 24.5 inches that is when i'll be adding 4 inches to it to make it 28 when you are looking at the picture very well you can see it's not a long sleeve but it's not it's more than three quarter so before i cut the band i'll be opening this i'll be opening this then i'm going to divide the center because that's the button at the front So, this is where I'll be folding in to put my button. I'll be making, I'll be putting for the holes here, then I'll be attaching, I'll be tucking in my button. So, you can decide to make the back neck, the front neck deeper than the back neck by using one inch at the back, then use two inch at the front. It depends on how you want it, but I just decided to use the two inch. I just need to use the two inches for both back and front. So the next thing I'll be cutting is the band. I'll be cutting the band from here. I'll be folding it into two this way. Into four, then I'll be folding it in. Then this way. The widest I'll be using here is 4.5 inches. Then the widest I'll be using here is 5 inches. Then I'll be slanting it down. I'll be putting the seam along the one half inch. Half inch. Then I'll slant it down. Then the next thing I'll be doing is to cut it out. Before cutting it out, the length of the of the by of the band is four inches, with the same amount of half inch to make it four point five inches. That way, that's what I fold here. Then I'll be notching the center. So this is where we'll be attaching the band. Then you know there will be there is going to be a pleat that's going to they're going to you're going to use this to make a pleat around this, then this is the band. So I'll be showing you the finishing. So for the collar. It will be after when you join the two shoulders. That is when you're going to know the windings of the neck before you can cut out the collar. So I'll be doing that before cutting the collar. But I'll be showing you the one which cuts the front pocket. Now I'm folding it into two this way. The length I need here is 5.5 inches with the same allowance. Then the wideness. I'm making use of the wideness of making use of six inches for the same allowance. So I want to double it as I'm not making it single. I'll double it this way, then I'll place it on the front at the front of the bubble shirt. Then I'm going to cut the upper part to it. You can make it you can cut any shape of your choice for the for the one that's going to cover this pocket. So this is the pocket now. I'll be joining stitching it, then I'll turn it. I'm stitching at the wrong side. I'm going to turn it to the right side. I'm going to place it on the, at the 
fond de la route. Nous, c'était plus tard. Mais come back. Il y a des fenêtres chocs, so far. This is the full shed stock. As you can see, this is the center. I'm going to put a button around this area. As you can see, this is where I'll be putting the button. Yeah. And this is the neck. You can make it of standing color. If this is the sleeve, you can see. And this is the shape of the booboo top. You can see it. You can see the other side too. And this is the button hole. This is the loop that I make. I'm going to put a button here too. This is the loop here. Yeah. So, please, I never this there. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure you give it a thumbs up if you like this video so far. And make sure you on your notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified. See you in my next class. Bye.